Okay, so this used to be my skin texture about two years ago, before I discovered how retinoids can absolutely transform your skin texture. I've been using retinoid for two years now, and today I've got five tips, specifically on how to use a retinoid correctly, a lot of common mistakes and ways to correct them, how to get the most out of your retinoid and use it properly. Number one is apply your retinoid to dry skin. If you apply retinoid to moist skin or damp skin from other skincare products or water after the shower, it can increase the rate at which it's absorbed and make it more irritating. Retinoids are obviously very irritating or can be very irritating anyway, so you need to apply it to bone dry skin if you want to avoid that irritation and get the most out of it. Number two is apply it at night. It's not because retinoids make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Um, that's a common misconception. The main reason that it's recommended to apply at night is because retinoids degrade in sunlight. So if they're on your face during the day, then the sunlight will degrade them, they'll become ineffective, or they can do. Third tip to get the most out of your retinoid and use it properly is to use it all over your face. I've had a few comments of people saying they use it as a spot treatment. For sudden and inflamed spots, there are better things to use for that. Retinoid is obviously great for anti-acne and things like that. So they are almost in themselves a spot treatment, but they really should be used all over the face and not as a spot treatment to get the most out of them. The thing they work best for are anti-aging and acne. So obviously applying them to just a small area topically isn't gonna help with, with anti-aging across your face. The third tip is to bring the product down your neck. The neck can be a sensitive area, so I'd advise to go in slowly, start with once a week, see how you go. I've personally never seen any irritation from putting it on my neck, but I know it's a sensitive area for a lot of people. The neck skin is super delicate and it ages just like the face would, so unless you want a really smooth face and then kind of a wrinkly neck later, it makes sense to break it down here. And to be honest, if you've got the energy, here is a good place to put it as well. And number five is don't use it alongside acids. Don't get me wrong, you can if you want to, but if you want to minimize irritation and get the most out of the retinoid, it's best to leave acids for other days. 